Hi there beautiful people and welcome to another video. My name is Omar and I'm an ENFP. I'm 23 now, I think. My birthday is in about two months and I haven't made a video in about a year. So I'm excited to be back. So for, for my first video, um, I wanted it to be um, a love letter to the FE function or the FE users like the ESFJs, ENFJs, ISFJs and INFJs um, because because in the in the last year I've been really going through a lot of self-development as a person and I've been really um, expanding my horizons and getting rid of um, a lot of misconceptions about how I can be and how I can act and one of the main things that I really despised um, was the uh, affectionate type or like the type that really likes to uh, overshare their emotions or like um, act happy all the time or basically FE users. I really used to view FE, FE as fake and um, that didn't really sit well with me because um, if you know um, in like socionics or like uh, I'm, I'm a little rusty on like MBTI and stuff so um, in socionics there's that um, the sixth function of the NFP is FE and uh, that function is really strong um, in our psyche and it's we like it we like being we like being liked we like liking people and we like interacting with others um, that's what makes us really um, effortlessly sociable with others when we want to be because we have that skill we know how to be sociable we know how to be likable and how to make others li like us and like others and I've been really struggling to accept that part of myself because I always viewed it as fake, even though it's not. So I just want to say, like, like I just want to construct a love letter to these types. Before I start, I got this inspiration, like, um, to do a love letter to a certain type from, to a certain type from Megan Lavoda's channel. She is one of the main reasons that I got into um, MBTI in the first place, and I really love her, love her content. She does um, a lot of different things now, I believe. She's like um, more of a coach rather than specifically MBTI. So if you'd like to check her out, her name is Megan Lavoda and uh, love you, Megan, and love your videos. So um, I have an ASFJ, an ESFJ sister, and she really, she's really of the expressive kind, as you would have imagined, from an ESFJ. And she really likes to show me when she's happy. And she also likes to share with me when she's sad and share with me how she feels about me. And I always, always um, used to be overwhelmed by her because I was like, okay, well, that's your emotions. Why are you throwing that on me? Because F users don't take the time to build up their emotions or like to take you on this journey with their emotions like FI users would when they are expressing their emotions. F users are, are like just, I'm, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm anxious. It's just like the point blank period um, of the emotion. And for me, that seems too simplistic, too, uh, too simplistic of a way to handle emotions. So I really look down to that because it's like, oh, that's all you can express through your emotions. Uh, that's really weak. But lately, um, I've been trying to open up as a person. I've been trying to be more vulnerable with people. And if I, <laughs> and if I ain't just, if I just ain't cut at it, like it's just like, I can't be super vulnerable like to the depths of my core every time with every person that I meet it's just exhausting and at the same time it deprives me of the ability to to connect with others because if I only can connect with the whole of my self like the whole of my FI and that exhausts me then who can I connect with only like two or three people that I just I just don't vibe with that anymore. I just don't like um, being really uh, conserved to about two or three people in my life that know who I really am. I want to share a more simple simple version of myself. Like I know I'm really complicated as a like emotional person, but I want to have a simple version of myself to share with others, so I can have a lot of people who can relate to me on an authentic level. Not necessarily on like a really deep and like in detail level, but on a really authentic level. And that's what I love about FE now. It's like I can have 
a lot of friends, a lot of people that get me, that understand me. I can communicate myself better. I can put myself um, like in better words. Usually I would communicate with TE because that's also in the stack of my functions. That's the, that's the third um, like conscious, func conscious function. And I would usually use this like blunt words to communicate how I think, to communicate how I feel. And sometimes it gets the point across and sometimes it just comes out as um, dry and cold. And I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm not a dry person. I'm not a cold person at all. I'm like, I don't want to seem stereotypical, but like, I'm a bubbly, go happy-go-lucky person. I'm, I love life. I love people. I love con uh, connection. And TE... Yet again, just ain't cutting it. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work as well as I'd hope to for it to work. Because it's always so rigid and I always need to make sense when sometimes all you need to win someone over is to just evoke some emotions in them. And um, I've been using FE more and more to be more aware of how I speak, to be more aware of the impact of the words that I use. So if someone's like feeling sad, I would try to use my fi experience of like how would this emotion um need to be handled and instead of like explaining that to them like you need to do a b and c la 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 i would do that for them so i would try to come up with reasons why they're valuable reasons why they're they're a good person reasons why they need to love themselves and why i love them and i communicate that with them directly and simply, like, in a way that they can understand, because not everyone understands everyone's FI, because my FI is my FI, it's very personal, it's very um, unique to my, to my own identity, and that makes it really hard to share with others, like, it's few, like, there are few people who I can share and they can understand, mostly there are FI users as well, because they, they're willing to, like, dive deep with, uh, um, dive deep with me, in like my convoluted emotional self but um, when I try but sometimes I just want to tell people that I love them just that like that like I love you like I care about you and I want to share with people that I love how I'm feeling like I'm so thankful that this is happening I'm so grateful I'm so happy I'm depressed I'm sad those little labels that don't need really a lot of explaining like for me, like, if I really want to explain, um, I would say, oh, okay, I've been through uh, multiple relationships um, these past couple of years, and all of them have failed, and that has made me to, led me to become really depressed because it has triggered some issues with, within my childhood, and that has also led me down to a, to a downward spiral of spiritual awakening, and that's all if I, that most people don't get it, and I like most people. I like most people. I like to connect with most people. So I'm really starting to appreciate if I'm starting to appreciate how my words can affect others and how others' words can affect me. And it's also helping me um, pick people better because I would notice how I'm feeling about around someone and like the objective feeling like, okay, I'm with this person. I love them but they're making me feel like shit, so I don't, I can't be with them anymore. And it's helping me realize the FE reality, the external reality of emotions around me, and that's helping me become more and more open. Weirdly enough, I, 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 all my life I thought, like, even before I got into MBTI, like, I had an idea about, like, this is deep emotions, this is, this is surface level emotions, and I would always feel like, like um how to how tied up with F, the fe ways way of thinking when it doesn't have to be i don't have to be to view it as something that ties me up even though sometimes fe users can be really rigid and really um like force their emotions and like their emotional states and rules on you they can also help you get to know more people they can also help you validate your emotions because sometimes when an FI user is going through something they think that they're the only person that they're going through this and I'm so guilty of that I always think that I'm the only person going through something when sometimes that's just ain't the case sometimes this is really common and like psychology is like I'm, I'm into psychology as well which MBTI is a part of 
um, psychology is a really nice mix of FE and FI. Like, okay, so let's let us use FI, aka emotional intelligence, to identify a pattern of um, uh, like uh, behavior, and let's generalize that with FE. Let's see how this pattern manifests across a lot of people, and that also is a great use of FE. It's we love to relate to others. We love to be to feel heard, and it doesn't have like if it's only if I it's like this person needs to understand me 100% in order for me to share myself with them and that's why TJ's are really really uh, closed up emotionally because it's not that they're not emotional it's not that they're not in touch with their emotions it's just that they d they don't value when others connect to their emotions in a shallow manner when at the end of the day, connection is connection. If someone can feel what you're feeling, it's valuable. It's wonderful. It's something that I've... Oh, shit. I'm gonna get teared up. <laughs> it's something that I've never felt, like, properly throughout my life. And I'm letting myself feel that. I'm letting myself connect to others. I'm lowering the price on others worthiness of me sharing with them because that used to be really high that used to be really like near damn impossible <laughs> um and also uh when i put up this fe version of myself which is which it which is still authentic and still me uh it really helped me like test people because i would so the FE version of myself is still important to me. It's still important to me that my usual self is liked or like my casual self is liked. But I use this self with new people so I can so I can get to know them better without really getting them like allowing them to go through my FI because I still do value a lot my FI. It's actually I've grown a lot more fond of my both feeling functions in different ways and it's just been really wonderful I'm I'm getting through I'm getting over like like I said like a dozen of failed relationships unfortunately in the past five years and I'm getting over a lot of childhood trauma a lot of um, no, teenage years trauma that have pushed me to become this really thinker type this really logical type when I'm not I'm not I'm not a logical person I, I, I can be when I want to and I like to be a lot of the time I'm not a stupid person but I'm really an emotional person I like connection and F E users you you the ESFJ or the ENFJ or the ISFJ or the INFJ thank you thank you for teaching me how to share who I am because it literally saved me in some portions of my life. It literally made me feel like I have a family because, like I said, my sister is an ESFJ and we didn't have the best relationship at first, but we like kept working on it, working on it, working on it until we did, until we now do. And I love her. She's like the main inspiration behind this video. I'm gonna get teared up again. Holy shit. And yeah, it's helping me like be more okay to cry on camera because hey fuck people cry on cameras and I can share my emotions and they're not like this private part that I need to hide it's okay I'm happy happier at least I'm thankful I'm connected yeah and that's all thanks to the FE way of thinking which I'm really growing to appreciate and to fellow FI users especially like FPs because I think TJ's is a bit more trickier to convince them to use FE but to my FP fellow wonderful people ENFPs, ESFPs, INFPs and ISFPs you literally are my favorite people in the world um, try it just try it Try being vulnerable, try being open, try being 
change simple stuff about yourself that you can gain um, people's connection try it it really works and it really helps and you'll feel less alone because okay let's face it you might have a unique version of a certain emotion in you that's your fi and that's completely valid and that's wonderful and that's you and that's uniqueness and that's individuality and that's amazing but that's at the end of the day it's just a version of a version of an emotion that everyone goes through so your depression isn't necessarily your depression it's depression you can read up on depression and still feel validated you can share about your depression and still feel validated by others even though they, can't, they don't share the same experience as you you sharing your experience in a light manner isn't fake it's you just not really in detail because not all connections can handle that much detail that's okay a connection is still a connection and I know I know that you crave sharing your FI I know that you want to share your FI I know you want to share your experience with the world and that's bloody amazing because it's wonderful it's wonderful to, sh to, be, to be able to feel that that much deep emotions but you, you can just be like either logical or like this really deep <laughs> um, emotional self you need to have a bridge between those two you need to have an emotional bridge I know you have it in you I know you like it I know you do I know you're afraid to admit it but admit it because it's fucking awesome and it saved me it is saving me and um, I hope it saves you too and lastly to FE and FE users I love you thank you you're appreciated you're important you play a role in society you're like the butter of society or like you know you get the society going and that's honestly even though I'm starting to appreciate it more I don't think I can do full-time <laughs> it's like a you know a casual thing for me to do now and thank you because you help create communities for people who feel like they're alone you help um, shit I'm just appreciative of you really I am and ESFJs and uh, ISFJs really get um, undermined with this whole crap of MBTI like hating sensors but you are very valid and very appreciated and I hope people can learn from your kindness and learn from your openness because it's important thank you for watching this video hope you like it please subscribe to the channel I know I post like one in a zillion years I don't know if I'm gonna post more I don't know but I'm gonna try so please like this video and subscribe and share it with your ESFJ, ISFJ, INFJ, ENFJ friend and I'll see you in the next video bye bye